So many are comparing the Green Bay Packers selection of Jordan Love to what happened with Aaron Rodgers back in 2005. Both were drafted late in the first round as the heir apparent Green Bay starting quarterback. However, I think both situations are vastly different. Rodgers was projected to be one of the top quarterbacks in the 2005 NFL Draft, and many actually had him being selected ahead of Alex Smith, which in hindsight would have been the right decision. Alex Smith went first overall to the Niners, not many teams were looking for quarterbacks, and Rodgers fell all the way to number 24 in that he was too good to pass up at the time. But there was a reason for this. Brett Favre had threatened to retire multiple times, he faced injury concerns, and he was an all-around pain in the neck for the Packers organization. Because of this, a contingency plan was necessary and it had little to do with Green Bay's loyalty to their starting quarterback, who was due to turn 36 later that season. It all worked out, Favre and the Packers, they mutually agreed to part ways after he threatened to retire for like the 46th time. Favre played a season with the Jets, he nearly made it to the Super Bowl a year later after that with the Vikings, and Aaron Rodgers would go on to win the Super Bowl in 2010 and racked up two MVP awards shortly after. But while Aaron Rodgers can certainly relate to Brett Favre back in 2005, for a guy that's often accused of not responding well to shots to his ego, this is much more of a jab than what Brett Favre faced. Jordan Love threw 17 interceptions in his senior season at Utah State. 17 interceptions. Look, he has great physical traits, but he struggles with accuracy, going through the progression, and he lacks awareness in the pocket. Not only was Love's selection in the first round a total surprise, the Packers actually traded up to get him. This is a team that could have used help in the offensive line, they could have used more receivers, they could have used a defensive skilled player in the first round. Look, they may have gone 13-3 and last season, but they were completely unprepared to face the Niners in the NFC Championship game. Aaron Rodgers has never worked with less in his career, and he still has four years left on his contract in Green Bay, which is a long time to mentor your successor. And even after that, Rodgers has no intention of retiring after age 40, and he's expressed publicly that he wants to finish his career with the Packers. You look at what Tom's doing and, and still able to play it uh at his age and play at a high level and obviously what Drew's done and, and Phil, you know, get an opportunity to, to keep rolling in, in Indy, of course, like, you know, of course you do. Now my thing is, you know, legacy is really important and having the opportunity to hmm. to do it all in Green Bay would mean a lot to me. Uh, I got four years left of my deal and I'd like to play four at a really, really high level and uh, I feel like keep keep on keeping on from that point to, to do it. and I. I feel confident right now. I'm going to be 40 when the deal ends. I feel like I could uh, keep going after that the way, uh, the way things have been going. This is not the kind of move you'd expect the Packers to make if they want Rodgers to stick around for the medium to long term. He signed a four-year, $134 million extension in 2018, which just started kicking in. You think Green Bay is starting to have regrets about future cap space Aaron is expected to chew up? I would not be shocked if trading Aaron Rodgers is in the cards after the next year or two. Look, I've always laughed at the media's fawning over Aaron Rodgers in NFL pregame segments. I've been much more of a Russell Wilson and Brady over Rodgers guy and certainly I've criticized his attitude many times. But he has reason to be pissed. I think Aaron Rodgers should ask for a trade. Get ahead of Green Bay's plans to deal him down the road and let the Packers organization know if you're not going to give me the help I need to take us to the Super Bowl and are already planning for the future, start rebuilding now and give me a chance to finish my career somewhere I can win. I don't think A-Rod and J-Lo are going to make it through this one.